Let us now discuss about the condensation polymers. Some important condensation polymers of commercial or industrial interest are described below. They are polyesters, polyamides. Under polyamides, we have nylon 66. These are the general representation of N units of an amide. This is how nylon 66 looks practically. And the dicarboxylic acid on addition with the dialcohol results in the formation of polyesters. Polyesters. The polymers having an ester linkage are known as polyesters. Some important polyesters are terylene and glyptal. Polyamides. Polyamides are nothing but polymers having an amide linkage between the monomers. For example, hexamethylene diamine of n moles reacting with n moles of adipic acid in the presence of n moles of water undergo condensation reactions to form nylons. Nylons here contain an amide group so they are called as polyamides. NH2 is the general representation of an amide. Nylon 66 is an important form of polyamide. It is obtained by condensing adipic acid with hexamethylene diamine with the elimination of water molecule. N moles of hexamethylene diamine reacts with N moles of adipic acid here. Thus, the hydrogen reacts with the oxygen present here and form OH groups. And finally, we obtain N moles of nylon 66. The chain length of this nylon 66 depends upon the temperature and time for which the process is carried out. The polyamides are identified by numbers. These numbers refer to the number of carbon atoms in diamine and in the diabic acid. As the reaction we have already seen, the carbon atoms here are 6 in each case. Therefore, the product is described as nylon 66. Nylon 66 is a po linear polymer and has a very high tensile strength. It shows good resistance to abrasion also. These are one of the few major properties of nylon 66. But nylon 66 is usually fabri fabricated into sheets, bristles, for brushes and in textile industries. Also, crinkled nylon fibers are used in the making of elastic hoisery. Now, an important topic we are going to discuss is about formaldehyde resins. Formaldehyde resins are typical thermosetting plastics. This class of plastics include phenol formaldehyde, urea formaldehyde and melamine formaldehyde resins. These are generally prepared using hydraulic press which in between we put the slug in a manufactured dish. On heating these resins, they become highly cross-linked therefore forming infusible and insoluble products. Thank you for watching a video from GTEC Technos Solutions Private Limited.